everyone. I'm a woolly mammoth. You can call me Wooly. My name says it all. I'm big, I'm fuzzy, and I'm lost. I mean, really. How can I find my herd if everything's covered in snow? Welcome to the Ice Age. 100,000 years ago, I guess. Eep. Hey, what's the big deal? <laughs> My long shaggy hair and my thick layer of underwool keeps me dry and warm. So throwing snowballs won't do anything! Plus, I have special skin which oils up the hair to make me even warmer. Eef! Aha! I have an idea. Mmm. <laughs> I use my super long tusk to shovel the snow to uncover this yummy grass. How will I ever be able to eat it all by myself? Ha ha ha. I'm a little bigger than the biggest elephant, but my ears are much smaller than an elephant's. I come from the cold northern part of the world, where scientists have found entire woolly mammoths, hair and everything, frozen in the ice. People usually get mixed up and think I'm a dinosaur, but I'm really an Ice Age animal. Eep! Okay, wise guy! <laughs> he got me all right, but at least he knows where the herd is. I thought you knew where they were. Have no fear, have no fear. The king of the dinosaurs is here. That would be me. Tyrannosaurus Rex, which actually means Tyrant Lizard King. And, well, that's me. <laughs> and did you know that a full-grown T-Rex, like myself, ta-da, is more than 12 meters in length. That's longer than a school bus. And when I stand up to my full height, I'm taller than a double-decker bus. The Tyrannosaurus Rexes weigh more than seven tons, you know. And I have the most beautiful teeth. Would you like to see them? Most vegetable-eating dinosaurs have small, bumpy teeth for chewing and grinding leaves and plants. But, well, you see, I am a carnivore. Uh, that means meat eater, uh, yum, 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 yum. And my teeth are perfect for, well, there's simply no other way to put this, for eating other dinosaurs. And the best part is once my teeth get a little worn down, they're automatically replaced. It really is a tremendous honor being king of the dinosaurs. 65 million years ago, we T-Rexes ruled the world, especially these parts of North America. Here. Well, I'd simply love to stay and chat with you all some more, but you see, my subjects need me, and I need them, because it's lunchtime! Oh dear. Ah, my friend. Welcome to paradise. I am Baryonyx. No, wait, my friend. You leave too soon. Look around. Ah, take it all in. Yes, yes. Believe me, this won't last forever. Alas, only 80 million years. Come, come closer. We will talk, you and I. Oh, but you are, how do you say, freaked out by my strangeness? My claws disturb you? My long, tapered mouth? I know you are as fascinated by me being a fish eater as I am. You see, with these, I can scoop out my fish dinner from the water. <laughs> and with the 90 short teeth I have in my mouth, I can eat it up. Yum. Yes, I know, I am very unique. There were not many of us. So come, we will soak in the sun of this paradise I live in. Smell the perfume of the very first flowering plants. Ah! See the first butterflies. Ah, yes, that's it. Come a little closer. You begin to understand why I love it here, yes? Fine. Then go, go! 
There are other lungfish in the Cretaceous Swamp, you know. Just leave me be. But know this. You hurt me. Deeply. And now, I must sun myself. Oh, hello there. Welcome to my home in the Triassic period, 230 million years ago. What a perfect day, huh? It's always like this here. My name is Herrerasaurus. You say that Herrerasaurus. Did you know that I am one of the oldest dinosaurs? Look out! Here I come! Ah, now that's the life. Dino Ball! Whee! <laughs> we'll take that. Theropods. We're always playing games like this. I'm not a big theropod, about the size of an elephant, but my tail is very long. As far as dinos go, I'm one of the earliest ones known. We're in what is now called Argentina in South America. Dino Ball! Ah, gotcha. <laughs> See you later. Oh, hello. And welcome to the late Jurassic period. I'm Ultrasaurus. Ultra cool? Ultra special, ultra big. It's easy to say my name. Ultra Saurus. Hey, Allosaurus. Should I have an audience? Ultrasaurus, he is the one. Ultrasaurus, that's me. When you think of the biggest dino ever, think of me. I'm so big. Hey, how big are you? I'm so big. That when I sit around the pond, I really sit around the pond. <laughs> ha cha 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 cha! Ultrasaurus, he is the one. I'm a herbivore, so I eat lots and lots of plants. Lots. I have to to get this big. He's as big as a bus, folks. Actually, I'm bigger than a bus, Al. I'm as tall as a three-story building. Next floor, socks. But some people think I'm not an Ultrasaurus. They think I'm really just a huge Brachiosaurus, since we look alike. Mm, no, you're Ultrasaurus. You're the one. I'm from what is now known as Colorado, USA. What's the weather like up there? So you want to have a look? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. Going up. E. Oh, that's too bad. I, I was just about to show him where his house was. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, oh, welcome to the late Cretaceous period, uh, about 140 million years ago. Ah! I live in the land that is now known as Argentina. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yuck! That stuff tastes like, well, grass. Okay, as you may have guessed, I'm not a herbivore. A plant eater, like those Trubaria. I I'm Gigantosaurus, the longest meat-eating dino who ever lived. You say my name like this, Jake and O. Saurus. It means giant southern lizard. <laughs> oh. Ah! Phew. I'm as big as a boat, and I'm just as heavy at eight metric tons. You're looking at the biggest head of any theropod that ever lived. But 
I have the smallest brain. It's about the size of... of a banana. Ah! Hi! I found you! Ah, the only thing that really terrifies us Gigantosaurus is little sisters. Okay, sis. Wanna go hunting? Yes! Will you do the roar for me? Sure, sis. Yeah, she likes it when I do that. <laughs>